loss of log reading. In this video, we are considering exponent rule as well as the identity rule. We will use this set of questions to explain the rules. Number one, log m to the power of a to base x. Exponent rule says, if the log reading of the number is raised to power, the power will come behind to multiply the entire log reading. Therefore, log n raised to power a to base x is equal to a log n base x. The a has come behind to multiply. Let's look at question 2. Log n raised to power 2x to base b. According to the law, 2x being an exponent will come behind to multiply the entire log. Therefore, log n raised to power 2x to base b is equal to 2x times log n to base b. Now, let's look at the second set of questions. Log x to base x. According to the identity rule, the log reading of a number that is equal to its own base is equal to 1. That is, we have log s being equal to its own base. So, this is equal to 1. Let's look at number 2. Log b to the power of a to base b. The first thing we are going to do here, we first use the law of exponent. Since a is an exponent to b, a will come behind to multiply. So, we have a log b to base b. Next step, we have the log of a number that is equal to its own base. And the log of a number equal to its own base is 1. So log b to base b equal to 1. Where we have a times 1. And the answer is what? a. Next, we have the log of 1 over y to base y. This can be written. When you see 1 all over, this 1 is minus. We want to write this y as an index. It will become log y to the power of minus 1 to base y. y minus 1 is the same thing as 1 all over y. At this point, this minus 1 is an exponent. So we are going to apply the exponent rule, which says that the exponent will come behind to multiply the entire log. So this becomes minus 1 multiplied log y to base y. At this point, we have the log reading of a number that is equal to its own base. And according to the identity rule of log reading, the log of a number equal to its base is 1. So the whole of this expression here is 1. And this becomes minus 1 multiplied by 1, which is equal to minus 1. And this is the answer. 